Three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to another DJ training video. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about how to operate the CD deck. So this video is more for those who are planning to run the CD decks or who want to use the CD decks during their show. Um, if you don't plan to play CDs during the show, you do not need to watch this video. It's not a requirement for you. So we're going to now zoom in on the CD deck and show you how it works. All right. So here is a zoomed in look at the uh, CD decks here. We're going to be messing around with uh, the first one. So there's CD decks one, two, and three, uh, as they are labeled here. CD deck three is reserved for emergency use only. Uh, it is specially programmed and already has a CD in it. So if anything happens when you're doing your show, like if the computer crashes, automation system doesn't want to work, and you just you need a quick fallback, a quick music fallback, all you have to do is turn CD deck three on. Uh, and then turn it on the mix board as well. And within about five seconds, it will start playing uh, music from that CD on repeat until you turn it off. But let's go to CD deck one and two now. So here's CD deck one. So the first thing you wanna do is turn it on via the power button and then load your disc into the CD player by pushing the open and close button here. This will open up the tray for you to insert your, your CD. Place your CD snugly into the grooves of the tray and then push that button again to close the tray. I want to warn you, do not push the tray shut because you may damage the motors inside the CD deck. Always use the button, don't, don't push on the tray. Um, all right, so as soon as you load in your CD, you're gonna get a cue for the first track. So what that means is it's ready to start playing on track number one. Uh, if you don't want to play track number one, you can use this push knob here. Uh, just scroll through like this to go to your desired track number uh, that you want to play. Uh, another thing you could do is if you don't know the track number offhand, you can find a track and then push the title button to see the title of that track uh, if it was provided on the CD. You can push title again to see the artist and then push it one more time to go back to the time. Um, there are two different play modes for the CD player. It defaults to single mode, which means it will play one track and then it will pause after that track is done. Uh, so basically what that means is so say right now I have it on track number five. So it'll play track number five and then it will stop while having track number six on cue ready to go for when I wanna play track number six. Uh, and single mode is going to be the most ideal for most DJs because you're going to want to have that pause between tracks to announce what you just played on the air. But if you choose to do so, you could push play mode and go into continuous mode, which will, which means that it will continuously play the next track and then the next track and then the next track uh, in sequence without stopping uh, until it reaches the end of the CD. Now, just a quick interjection for a moment. Do remember when you're playing CDs or other media on the air, that there is a limit as to the number of consecutive tracks you can play from the same artist or the same album. So be sure you don't violate those rules. So the rules are you cannot play any more than three tracks from the same artist on the same episode of your show. You also cannot play any more than three tracks from the same album on the same episode of your radio show. And finally, you cannot repeat the same track more than once on the same episode of your show. Keep those in mind. If you don't want it to ever reach the end of the CD, if you want it to go back to track number one and start again, you can throw it on repeat um, and that will cause it to continuously play over and over again. Um, there is this knob right here for pitch adjustment. So generally you're gonna wanna leave it at zero, zero. Uh, at all times, but let's say if you want to play it at a little bit higher pitch, 
you can move the lever down a little bit. Uh, or if you want to play it at a lower pitch, you can move it up towards the minus sign. So that's pretty cool control there. Um, so we mentioned that this knob skips around track by track, but let's say you want to skip on a specific track, you want to go to a specific time on that track. Uh, what you could do is use the search buttons down here. So you're going to press and hold until you get to the desired time in, uh, in your track where you want to start at. Uh, so by default, it shows the remaining time for a track. So it goes down instead of up. If you want to see the actual time position for a track starting from zero, you can push the time button to switch it to elapsed mode instead of remaining mode, like so. Now, once you're ready to play a track, there are two ways to play a track. The ideal way, and we're going to move the camera to show you this, the ideal way is to simply turn that channel on on the mixer board. So in this case, it is CD1. So we're gonna find CD1 here on the mixer board and turn it on. This is automatic, so as soon as you turn the channel on, it will begin playing the CD. Do keep in mind though, despite this feature, it will not automatically stop if you turn the channel off. It'll keep playing, uh, it just won't be on the air. So it only starts when you turn the channel on, but it does not stop if you turn the channel off. You have to manually push pause if you wanna pause it where it is right there and then resume from that spot or stop if you want to manually go to another track or go to the beginning of that track. So uh, uh, another thing you could do is you could use your phone. There's a little separate phone jack here if you wanna monitor just the CD player without, the, um, without any of the other on-air stuff. Uh, you could use the phone jack right here to do so. Uh, and once you're done, simply pull the CD out of the deck like so. And be sure to turn it off as well once you're done using it. So that's pretty much how to use the CD deck. Uh, keep in mind, CD deck 2 is slightly different from CD deck 1. So you're going to want to pay attention to the buttons on CD deck 2. For instance, there is no title button on CD Deck 2, unfortunately, so you can't view the title of a track on CD Deck 2. The time button is up here instead of down here. Uh, there's a couple of other switcheroos with the buttons as well. Uh, so keep that in mind. Remember, CD1 and CD2 are a little bit different from each other. Well, that's all I have for you for this video, and we hope you enjoyed uh, learning how to use the CD players.